Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Emily Love. I am a fashion and lifestyle blogger and here on my channel, I do styling videos and try on hauls. I also run an online boutique called Shop Emily Love. My info are gonna be in the description so you can go ahead and check me out. Um, I'm saying good morning because it's currently 6.45 in the morning. Today is Tuesday and I'm going to do um, a photo shoot today. I have a huge winter photo shoot that I'm going to do. I wanted to bring you guys along with me and show you guys behind the scenes of how I prep for photo shoot day, how I take my pictures, all that good stuff. Uh, my son is still sleeping. I'm going to go get him, wake him up and get him ready for school. Once I drop him up to school, then I'm just going to hit the highway and go. I normally shoot most of my photo. I want to say 85% of my photos. I have a broken nail. It broke last night. But, um, well, I guess we should address the elephant in the room. I cut my hair, but we're going to talk about that in a different video. I just cut it. I was tired. Long story short, that's it. You guys are probably going to see the wig. I do the wig sometime and then sometime I don't. But anyway, um, I usually do 80% of my photos downtown Delaware and that's about an hour away from me. And the reason I do that is because one, it's super easy. There's, I don't have to worry about parking. And when I shoot my photos, I do lifestyle photos. If you see my Instagram page, so I like for it to give you more of a city vibe and, and downtown Delaware, um, give you that city, New York city feel without the hassle of parking and the, the stress. It's super easy. It's quiet and it's aesthetically pleasing for photos. So that's where I take all my photos. I'll show you guys the items that I'm taking and then we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so I stayed up last night um, prepping all of the items I'm going to take. From here, oh my God, this nail. From here to here is all the coats I'm going to be shooting today. I have about 20 looks. It's getting really cold outside, so I just want to do a buck photo shoot, get a whole bunch so I don't have to keep going out. So wish me luck. It's going to be a long day. Um, these are all my coats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have about ten coats here. And then over here, I have everything already packed up. In this bag, I have my tops. In this bag, I have bottoms. And then in these two bags, I have shoes. And over here, I have accessories like um, bags. And then here, I have my laptop. And then I just have my necklaces laid out on the table so that's what we're gonna do um update the studio slash showroom is getting a little bit of a makeover so this is what it looks like once it's done i'll give you guys a tour but yeah this is the current situation i'm gonna go wake my son up and get him ready for school and then we will head out i have to start getting all this stuff in the car all right guys we're in the car <laughs> we are locked and loaded uh the back of the car is so full the trunk is full I have to drop Ethan off and then I am on my way. I'm nervous, but I'm hyping myself up so I can be excited. <laughs> okay, we're at Ethan's school. He's gonna get dropped off and he wanted to say bye. Bye. All right, babes, let me get you out so we can get out of here. Have a good day at school. <laughs> so Ethan is off to school. Um. We're gonna stop and get gas, and I think I'm gonna get coffee from Starbucks. My cousin said she was gonna come with me, but when I called her to wake her up this morning, she was knocked out sleeping, so it's gonna be a solo trip. So let's get some gas and be on our way. We are here guys it was a good drive it wasn't um it wasn't that bad it's about 8 57 and i think we did good i just um on the drive here i just like to listen to like podcasts or listen to something um educational on youtube while i'm driving so it wasn't a bad drive at all This is what downtown, is this Wilmington or Delaware? <laughs> well, Delaware is the state, so I'm assuming this is downtown Wilmington. This is what it looks like. It's pretty um, decent. It gives you that city vibe, but yeah, it's very quiet. Um, 
and they don't give you a hard time and there's a ton of parking so i love it over here all right guys i am here but um jamie is not here yet so i'm gonna run into starbucks and get a coffee there's absolutely no parking in that parking lot it is jam-packed um but i'm hungry <laughs> i didn't have breakfast this morning so i need something i'm just gonna leave my car like double park and get coffee and then i'll drive around and scout some locations before she get here and then we'll get started Oh, Alright, we got our coffee. We have our banana nut bread. Um, Jamie just texted me. She's gonna be here. She's gonna be here in about five minutes. So I'm gonna drive around and scout some locations. Oh, that's her. Okay, I'm where we started last time with a few spots here. Okay, she just texted me, but um, here's what I did last night because I knew that it was gonna be a lot of outfits. And um, I want to make sure I get through all of them. And sometimes I forget what's supposed to go with what because it's just so many pieces. So what I did last night was I tried everything on. If you can see on my phone, I tried everything on and I took photos of them. I figured this is the easiest way to do it. So when I, um, as, as I shoot the outfits, I'll delete the photos. Like I already have all black on now. So I know that I'm going to do this outfit first. And then when I'm done shooting that outfit, I'll just delete the photo. So every time I take an outfit, I delete the photo and then I'll come back and check. That way I'll make sure that I get through all of the outfits and I can remember what goes with what. This is my first time trying this, but I hope it worked because last time um, I went home and then I realized I forgot a ton of outfits that I didn't shoot or I forgot what went with what or what shoes I was supposed to wear or what. It's just a lot. If you're wondering where I get changed, I'm going to be getting changed in my car. It's a lot of stuff. So I got to figure out where I'm going to move the stuff to. But um, I'm going to eat my banana nut bread, drink some coffee because you guys know I need this energy. This is the hardest part. <laughs> Trying to get dressed in the car. <laughs> and sometimes people drive by and look at me like I'm, like I'm crazy. Oh my God. That was tough. I put on some lipstick. I'm going to grab my coat. You guys see the oh? <laughs> you guys see the life? Okay. Whew. The secret is to try your best and stay organized. Cause if you're not organized, you're gonna be in big trouble. All right, this is my coat. And get my boots.
pockets. Okay, guys, um, I am sorry. I completely forgot about you guys. I'm back home from the photo shoot. This is the aftermath. I have stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I'm going to have to clean up tomorrow, but I'm going to wrap it up here. I have to give Ethan. Um, I just got him from school. I have to give him dinner. And then I have to get my life together. But I'm going to clean up this place and I'll show you guys tomorrow. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye. I'm exhausted. Guys, so this is what it looks like. I've cleaned up. I've put everything back away. I had some shelving put up. Um, just to be able to put stuff away after photo shoots and stuff. This is not my closet. This is just um, items that I use on a regular base for photos and videos. I have a Shein haul coming up. So I have all the items over there that I'm going to shoot. And then um, I just have more stuff up here. <laughs> That's my hair when I'm not wearing it. <laughs> this is some orders I'm prepping to go out. And yeah, this is just a little update to the studio. Um, there's a lot more coming. But just wanted to share with you guys, the windows are not done yet. They have to finish up the windows. Then I'm going to put up um, curtain rise and put the curtains. But I didn't want to just leave it open even though there's no, um, even though the window is not framed yet. Because I feel like sometimes my neighbors can see me. They probably can't and it's just in my head. But um, yeah, this is the current situation. It helps a lot just to kind of like get things off of the floor and in the room. And then in the other room back there, we're gonna put some shelving up. Um, I dropped my computer. Well, my computer fell the other day because I tripped over the court and it broke. It's not working. So I'm gonna have to um, figure out what I'm gonna do. I just cleaned my desk and then I made my calendar for the month so I can be able to keep track of everything that I do and everything that I need to do because I feel like I've kind of been slacking with my store and I need to get on top of that. But um, yeah, this is not my closet. Uh, this is items I use every day. This bag is actually from Shein. I have a Shein haul coming up. I can't wait to share that with you guys. This one is also from Shein. Um, yeah, and I got some really cute pieces from Shein. Can't wait to do that haul. But that's about it. Let me show you guys these boots before I go. These boots are from Shein. So many good pieces. But I'm pretty proud of myself um, that I was able to clean this place up tonight. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. But yeah, I did it. And I'm out. Oh, I got my nails done too. I fixed that one broken nails and the color is so pretty. All right, bye guys. Um, so today is Wednesday. I attempted to curl my hair today. Um, I don't think I did a good job, but that's okay because I have a hair appointment um, tomorrow, tomorrow's Thursday. Yes, I have a hair appointment tomorrow, um, but where did we leave off? <laughs> I came back from the photo shoot and there was a mess in here and I threw everything everywhere. I cleaned up, I did my makeup, I attempted to curl my hair and we're going to head out to the mall. 
Remember doing my photo shoot? I said I was doing a bug photo shoot so I won't have to shoot um, any content for the rest of the month. <laughs> well, that was a lie. Um, as soon as I got home, the next day, I got an email from Loft. I've worked with Loft before. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand, um, but I got an email from them and they need some content for a pair of jeans um, for this month. And they said they needed the photos right away. Um, so I called up Jamie. I was like, Jamie, we need another photo shoot. <laughs> but I just thought it was so funny because I was like, I'm done for the month of January. I have enough content. I won't have to shoot anything. It's super cold outside. And then like the next day I have to schedule another photo shoot, but I'm not complaining because that's work. And I'm very grateful to have a job. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. The jeans just got here today. I have to head to the mall and pick some items, um, some tops. What is that sound? <laughs> I have to head to the mall today to pick up some top that I'm going to wear with the, with the jeans. But I'll show you guys the jeans and what it looks like. But I wanted to bring you guys along because I know yesterday was a short day. Not yesterday, the day before yesterday was a short day. And I kept forgetting to vlog. So I wanted to bring you guys along today um, so we can go to the mall, see what we're going to find, and then find something to style the jeans with. Um, I'm probably going to pick out other outfits or put some things together to shoot because I'm not going to pay a photographer just to shoot one look. So we're going to do a lot. Um, we're going to browse and see what's in the mall. It's already 2.30, so I'm going to try to run out because I have to be back by 4 to pick my son up from school. So I'll show you guys my outfit and then we will head out. I think I did an okay job with my hair for the first attempt. But uh, my hair appointment is tomorrow. I hope it comes out cute. I will pop up a photo right here of my hair if I do get it done and show you guys what it looks like. So come on, friends. Let me show you guys the office. The jeans we're going to go and find tops for. I'm going to wear this boots today. So let me put that on so we can go. This is my little rack here in the corner with the stuff from Shein. I actually ordered a nicer rack. It's going to be here on Thursday. I don't really know what day today is, but that's all the Shein stuff. I need to put that away and clean up. All right, guys, don't be distracted by my dirty mirror. <laughs> but this is my outfit. This is what I'm going to wear. I'm wearing these boots from Amazon. I think I've shown you guys these boots before. These booties before. I love them. They are super cute. Um, that's my house slipper in the back. I love them. They're by Chinese Laundry, but I got them all for Amazon. And then on the bottom, I have on my Spanx um, skinny jeans. I love these jeans. They're super comfortable. And then I just have on this sweater from Amazon. This sweater is super oversized. But I just added a belt to kind of um, define my waist a little bit. I usually wear it tucked in, but I didn't. I couldn't be bothered today trying to tuck it in. I'll pop up a photo to show you guys how it looks tucked in. And then I'm wearing this a tiny bag from Shein. Um, if you've seen my Shein haul, you've probably seen this bag in there. It's cute. I think it goes well with the with the booty. So this is going to be my outfit. You can't really fit much in this bag. Probably my mask, my phone, and my keys. But... Um, and my wallet. I think that's the only thing I can fit in there. But this is my, my outfit for the day. I just have to figure out what coat I am going to wear. And then we're going to head out. We are off to the mall. My face is breaking out. Mm. I don't know what's going on. But let's go. Guys, we just got to the mall. And I actually left my coat in the car because um, I end up getting hot in the mall. And I just carry the coat around with me. So it's not that bad outside. It's kind of warm. actually pretty quiet in the mall today um i hope you guys can hear me i'm always worried you guys can't hear me behind this mask and i'm still adjusting to my short hair the first stop we're gonna make is loft we're gonna go check in loft and see if we can find anything good and then we might go into white house white house black market i think that's what it's called so let's go see if we find anything cute in loft they're actually right next to each other. White House Block Market is right there. 75% off and Loft is right there. So let's go and see. They have some red. Surprisingly, they didn't have a lot of stuff in Loft. Uh, last time I went, they had a huge selection. But that blazer is so cute. I wanted it really bad, but I'm trying to cut back this year. <laughs> I don't think I need any more blazers for a while. So I'm going to try not to buy anything that I don't need. But we'll see. Um, the lighting here is so cool. Look at my little outfit. They have the best light in the fitting room here. 
but these are the options uh because i was thinking more on valentine's i don't know if you guys can hear me but i like this one because they have the little hearts it's plain white but it just have like little hearts on it and then i like this pink one because i really like the idea of pink and red um this is a little crop cardigan but i can look for something in more of a sweater format because i really like the sleeve and i like the color but i think it might look better as a sweater and then there's this one and then there's this one i can't decide i kind of got to figure it out <laughs> um i'm mad that i left the pants at home but we're gonna go back out and i'll see what i can find So I browsed Law for a little while, but I didn't see anything else that I think will go nicely with those pants. Um, but I do like that. Oh, it's coming up. I'll show you guys. That brown and blue sweater, I just think it's so pretty. I love the colors. Somehow I ended up in White House Black Market. I love those shoes. They are super, super cute. Oh my God. And they were on sale. I think it was like 29 or less than that i'm not sure it was 50 percent off it was super affordable but the problem with me is the heels are too low i don't like my heels that low you guys know i am sure i need a little bit of height um in white house black market um the sale associate pulled out all of these items <laughs> girl no i'm not about to shop my little loft bag but i did pick this uh, pair of shorts up myself I'll try the things on. I'll show you guys later when I get home. All right, guys, we are leaving White House Black Market. I did pick the stuff up. Pick some stuff up. We're going to head into H&M and see what they have because whenever I come into the mall, I have to go into H&M. I'm in the mall I have to come into H&M because I am slightly obsessed <laughs> with H&M so let's see what they have guys this is one of the absolute best times to shop for your winter wardrobe for next year or this year because all of the stores are on sale. The sale at H&M and Zara is amazing. I mean, you have to have patience to stay in the line. Um, I don't know if the prices are the same online as it is in store, but look at the sweaters. These sweaters are on sale for like $6.99. I pick up so many. <laughs> I was just so excited because I love a good chunky sweater in the, in the winter. And this one I can even wear early spring when it's chilly outside. Look at the price. Uh, I'm too hype. I need to calm down. <laughs> but the sale is so good. If you go in there with like two, three hundred dollars, girl, you could fill up your entire um spring, spring, fall, and winter wardrobe. $7.99 for blazers. I was so hyped, but I was not buying any more blazers because I have enough blazer. Look at that. $8.99, y'all. And they have all colors. I'm too excited. I don't need to be in any store. I need to take my butt back home and mind my business. Oh, but look at that color. That color is so pretty. Is that burgundy? It's like purplish burgundy. Um, yeah, but H&M have really good sale. Even Zara. I don't have the patience for the line, Zara. That's why I didn't even bother to go in there because the line is crazy. Oh, they have full leather pants for like $13. They have um, dress pants. If you work in a corporate setting that require you to get dressed, girl, go and shop till you drop. Let me stop. Don't go shop. Save your money. <laughs> but honestly, the sale is so good. Um, you just have to have patience to go through the stuff and be willing to stand on that line for hours. Well, not hours. The line in the H&M is always so long. By the time you get off that line, you have no energy. My God. <laughs> I feel like I was standing on line for like a good 20 minutes. But we're going to head into outdoors because I really want a pair of tan boots. I've been looking for a while, but I haven't seen anything. So let's go see what we can find in there. Mm -mm -mm. People are always so nice when I come to the mall. I get a ton of compliments. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, 
many cute options in um, Aldo, but they did not have what I was looking for. I have my heart and my mind set on a tan pair of booties, something like very light. Is it tan or beige? A very light. Those brown ones are gorgeous, but I wanted something lighter. Um, similar to the one behind the other one, but light. <laughs> it was a disaster. I didn't find anything in there. We are going to go into Steve Maddie and see what they have. I need to hurry up and go because it's almost five and I need to pick up my son and all of my bags are starting to weigh me down. <laughs> my arm hurts, so hopefully I can find a pair of tan, like really light tan boots in Steve Madden. Wish me luck. Right, guys i am back in the car um i had no luck with the boots i went into nordstrom what am i saying i went into aldo's i didn't find anything i went into um steve maddie i didn't see anything i don't know where to look i just really want a pair of tan boots like light tan um that can go with a lot of the things in my closet i realized that i don't have a pair of tan i have two brown boots a leopard print boots and something else i don't know why i still have my mask on but we're just gonna keep this mask on but let me sanitize my hands first and then we'll get into the rest of it. I think I'll come back to the mall tomorrow and check Macy's and Nordstrom because they're jeans that was sent to me from, from Loft. I would really like to do it with a pair of tan boots. If I can't find tan boots, I might just do uh, my nude heels. But it's winter, so I like to do boots instead of heels. But you got to work with what you have. Um... I stopped by Cinnabon, my favorite, favorite place. I'm trying to cut back on my sugar, guys. But yes, somehow I always stop there when I'm, at, when I'm at the mall. It is my weakness. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't wait to eat it. So good. Look at that. Looks delicious. I want to take that home and eat that. But I didn't spend a lot of money, surprisingly. I spent $54 in loft and i bought three items i bought three sweaters i'll show you guys once i get home and then i spent i think i spent the most amount of money in uh white house black market i spent about 121 dollars and i think it's because of that coat let me tell you guys this is what i do when there's a brand that i like and i want to work with i create content for the brand i post it on instagram i tag them and hope that they notice me and they reach out to me it have always worked for me in the past and I decided this year I want to work with, I'm already putting it out there now. When I tell you guys that me is going to happen, I'm speaking it into, I'm putting it out into the universe. I am saying this. I want to work with White House Black Market. Um, last year I said I wanted to work with Loft. I wanted to work with Express. I wanted to work with Nordstrom. All of the companies I've wanted to work with have reached out to me. I didn't have to reach out to them. God has been so good. They have reached out to me and I've worked with them. And this year I was like, you know what? I really like White House Black Market and I would love to work with them. So I was like, you know, let me create some content for them and post it on Instagram and tag them and get that attention. That's a great way to get a brand attention. So I picked some stuff up. I didn't find that much in there, unfortunately, but I did pick up a, a coat and a pair of shorts. I'll show you guys that when I get home. And then I stopped at H&M and got some sweaters. I am addicted to sweaters. But I'm going to run home and pick my son up and then I'll try the stuff once I get home and show you guys um everything that i so bought I just got home um ethan is eating his dinner and these are the items that i bought i got something from h and m white house black market and then i have loft um i'm gonna try the items on quick for you guys and then close out this vlog because i'm tired <laughs> all right guys so this is the first item i got from white house black market uh this white little coat it is super cute i like it kind of a uh, flare at the bottom to kind of cinch in your waist it's super cute i wanted a size small but it didn't have a size small so i took the extra small and i was looking for a pants to match and it didn't have anything to match so i pick up these pants from h&m i'll show you guys that later i'm trying to button this thing well you guys get the picture i'm not gonna button it yeah but this is how it look it's so cute i'm gonna take some photos in it 
if the photo is ready before the vlog goes up i'll pop the photos the photo somewhere so you guys can see that but it's so cute i love that um it was a little pricey but it's a small price to pay uh-huh but i look at it as an investment um so hopefully i'll get to work with that brand one day so yeah this is the coat and then i got a pair of shorts they didn't have a lot in store so let me grab the shorts and show you guys I need the shorts over here because it's kind of hard to hold so this is the pair of shorts that i got it is leopard print and it has pockets on the side oh my god it's falling i plan on just doing it with a pair of over the knee boots if i have photos um i'll pop up the photos so you guys can see that but love these shorts um they're cute and i think it was on sale too the two sweaters that i got from h and i'm gonna take some photos in them and if the photo is ready i'll pop the photo up so you guys can see i love this color i want to do um something bold and something bright like a bright color bottom with this sweater and the same with this one i think i have a pair of lavender jeans I'm going to see what I can find and do with them. This was $6.99 and this was $6.99. This is the absolute best time to shop at H&M and grab um, some winter pieces, some winter essentials, either for this year or next year because they're having a huge sale. And then I pick up these um, pair of pants that I plan on styling with that jacket because they didn't have any um, in White House black market, but I love it. You guys know. I'm a sucker for neutral, and this was only $9.99. It's not that heavy, but I don't mind. I'm only going to take photo in it, and then I'll probably wear it in the spring and in the summertime. So that's that. And then I'll show you guys the items that I got from, from Loft. So this is the first sweater that I got from Loft. I think this is a cardigan. I love it. It's super cute. I was thinking more of a Valentine look. That's why I went with the pink. I like that it has the button details over here. And these are the pants. I have them on. They look orange now, but I think they are red. Um, and I was thinking about doing like a red and pink, but that's an option. I have on my pair of new pumps, but I really wanted a pair of cream boots. That's why I was running around trying to find boots, but I didn't find them. So I think I'll just do new pumps with them. And this is the full look. This is the first look. If photos are available, I will pop up the photos so you guys can see. The pants is coming out. The pants is looking orange, but it's actually red. I don't know why it looks orange on camera, but this is the first sweater. And this was on sale. I don't remember how much this was, but it wasn't that expensive. Um, and then I have another sweater I'll show you guys. But let me know what you think. I know you guys are not used to me doing a lot of colors. <laughs> but I think it will be cute. We'll see how the photos turn out is the other sweater that i picked out it's also pink but i think because of the light in here it's coming off a little different but this is my second outfit option um i like the sweater it's cute but we're gonna wait and see how the photo turns out i think i got i should have got a size two in the pants a size 24 i actually have on a size 25 and it looks a little bit loose um on me like i said this pants is red it just coming off orange on here and i don't know why <laughs> but yeah that's the next sweater and then i have a cream sweater i'll try that on for you guys next but let me pull on this satin skirt that i bought it's pink and i thought it would be cute to do a a lighter pink and a darker pink for like a really cute valentine day look item i picked up from loft are these pink satin skirt i think these was on sale for like 12 dollars which is not bad at all because I can wear it now and I can also wear it in the spring. I like it. It's super cute. I'm going to do a Valentine's Day look with this skirt. Um, if I don't do it with this sweater, I'll probably do it with this sweater. But when I'm not so tired, I'm going to put some looks together and see how it turns out. But I like the skirt a lot and it was super affordable. So I figured why not grab it? I can also wear this in the spring and in the summertime. Very pretty. All right, let me try on the last item so we can wrap up this vlog. Cause I, so this is the last sweater that I picked out because when in doubt, always go with neutrals. <laughs> so I picked out this tan, um, is this tan or beige? I'm not sure, but this whatever color sweater this is, and I think it's super cute. Well, I mean, it's not super cute, it's regular. <laughs> but it's all about the jeans, so it doesn't matter what the sweater looks like, but just a nice top to go with it, but... um. Yeah, that's the look. I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow. And then after my hair appointment, I'm going to come and put all of the outfits together. And then I'm going to shoot on Friday. And that's about it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next vlog. 
Let me know if you enjoy the vlog, if I should do more vlogs, and what you guys would like to see from me. All right, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Emily Love so you can see all of these outfits. All right.